welcome to Cut for Catrum, a series where we're going to be joining Marcus Ericsson on his journey around Formula 1. We're going to be living the life, as Codemasters put it in 2010, but properly. And yes, that is Marcus Ericsson on screen right now. Nailed that character recreation. Got the hair spot on. Definitely Marcus Ericsson. No doubt about it. Shut up. So... Mark Ericsson just graduated to Formula 1, he's just found out, let's go to him and let's see what he's been doing on the very day he found out. Obviously, probably a lot of celebrations bouncing around, so let's go to him, let's see what crazy shenanigans he's getting up to. Thanks for shit. What? What was that, mate? What? Was that you, mate? Do you, do you wanna fucking go? <laughs> fucking dickhead. Telling Kate from a shit. You're a loser! What? Oh my days, no, take one for that. Catrum got fucking 12th place last year, you dickhead. Yeah, take one on that, and that. And so we take our private limo towards our private plane to go to Australia. The first round of the 4 one season, and we are in the air, relaxing with a bit of champagne. We've uh, partied enough, and now it's time to get ready for the new season of Formula 1. <sighs> Oh, hi. Hi, Mr. Caterham, boss. Yeah, um, yeah, what do you want? Uh, oh, you want me to pay the 200 million I owe you for the seat? Right, right, so I, uh, you're telling me I'm paying you for the Caterham F1 seat? Right, okay, thanks, thanks, um... Thanks. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs> Okay, so here we go, we're here at Australia for qualifying after we've picked ourselves out of that hedge we crashed into and we're ready for qualifying. Here we go, on the flying lap, in this beautiful green vomit catering. Here we go, onto the flying lap now in Q1. Going through this right hander, going purple at the moment. Uh, you know, let's ignore the fact no one's set a time yet. Through this high-speed chicane, third gear action in a high-speed chicane. That, now, that is impressive. And we're coming through for fourth place at the moment, but uh, we'll ignore the fact only four people have set a lap. And now here we come for our second flying lap, opening the arrest, going at five million miles per hour. 20 second place. Don't! Well, that wasn't the best, but um, we can we can make it up in the race. So let's meet our, our, our crew here. We've got our first mechanic here, Terry. That looked heavy. Are you okay? Yes, I am okay, Terry. There's a big big fact that I'm not in a fucking crash. Jesus, Terry. Right. Well, let's go to our second mechanic here, uh, Joel. Prime tires confirmed for next pit stop. Thanks, Joel. We're not actually in a race yet, but it's good to know you're on, on the correct page here. You know, maybe tell me that, you know, in the race. That'll be good. Thanks, Joel. And finally, we've got our resident mechanic, Eddie. So, uh, Eddie, could you get me those uh, really important blueprints? I want to show the viewers our massive, massive plans for Catrum here with Marcus Ericsson. Here we go. We've got the V2 turbo. Obviously, we couldn't afford a V6 because those extra four cylinders are very expensive. Uh, we've got a plank of wood for the front wing because, you know, we're down on power. So, we're going for the low drag setup. And, uh, of course, no R&D upgrades are planned. I mean, you know, why would we? So, let's get into the race. Let's go. Round one. We're so ready. We pay £200 million to be here. Let's do this. So, here we go. This is it. The final outcome. Starting the season off. Five red lights for the Australian Grand Prix. And we are... Oh. oh fuck, our engine's blown up, well, that's Australia, tough luck, just gonna have to take that on the chin really, standard stuff really, so uh, roll on Malaysia I guess. So here we are at Malaysia, it's a bit wet out here but we've at least made it to the grid and it's looking good to at least start the race without an engine failure. Here we go to five red lights for the Malaysian Grand Prix and we are off and immediately this is a success over Australia. We've not blown up and we're actually into 20th place now. That is that is good, that is good for Caterham. That will get us an extra cup of tea in the hospitality suite right there. So uh, we're looking at Shilton now on the left hand side, just making sure he's not going to crash into us. Oh! <laughs> Oh, 
Well, um, after that huge crash in Malaysia, we're thankfully out of the hospital now. Well, uh, no harm done. Um, yeah, I mean, the first two races haven't been to plan, but uh, Malaysia was more of a success than Australia, you've got to say, and it can only go up from here. And, you know, to be honest, what, what could go wrong at Bahrain? I mean, not that much. What the Ah, hot dog stand. Uh, could I have uh, one? Uh, what, what? Hey, 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 you dickhead! You, you do not know who I am. I'm Marcus Ericsson. What? Why are you driving away from me? You app? Oh my god! Surprise, motherfucker! Fuck.